First thing I did when I lost my home was A, I was getting evicted, B, I'm giving up my credit. Gotta go to a hotel. What, what am I gonna do? I have $3 to my We're about to go um, make a surprise and hopefully, you just have to watch. You see what happens next. Are you serious? Yes. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, it is I, your captain, speaking. We got this man here, Storage Stalker, the world famous, the one and only. We call him Chubby Love. Or Storage Stalker, either or. I haven't called you Chubby Love in so long. Harold always been, how's Chubby Love doing? Storage Stalker. <laughs> We are here with a very exciting episode, guys. We've been trying to keep this on wraps, and we still haven't let it unfold because expense is always fun, right? There's a very special plan throughout the day. We teamed up on this. If you watched a couple, like a week ago, a family showed up, uh, made both of us almost cry into tears. No, not me, just you and Uncle Mike. I'm a man. Well, really, he started to cry first. But the <laughs> fact is, um, we can't we can't help everybody in the world. I know a lot of people think that we are just rich. We're just up here balling. We're out of control. But trust and believe that there's two people in this world who know tough times, living without, being either a child or a parent trying to struggle. It's us. We we are, are those two guys. And if you can help at least one person, which has been my goal since I started, at least just help one person change your life, that's my goal. And that's what we're doing. We're gonna do our best to help. We're here to take over the world. Are we taking over the world? No, we're trying to change the world. Change the world. We're gonna make it happen, and this video is gonna be great, guys, because you know what? Every now and then you gotta spread the love. You gotta give a helping hand to certain people. And you know what? Christmas time, yeah, a lot of people do give back more, but you don't see it as much. So we thought we'd show you guys this one time, but it happens all year. We try to help people out with the little things. But for now, we thought we'd bring some, spread some love, and show you guys around this Christmas time. Stay tuned, this episode is gonna be crazy. Pick it. Pick it. I'll tell you a price on each one. Gold. I have no problem selling you stuff, Alex. <laughs> I'm going to be like this. Alex, that's going to be 30 bucks. Burn up on it. Oh. Well, yeah. What I do agree with squeezing, but see, I'm not. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. You're, I just don't want you to be sad later. Oh, yeah? Nice. We're trying, we're trying to get a hold of you guys, see if you can help us uh, unload and stuff today for a little bit. Hey, what up? Alex, you focus on his watching this stuff and the clothes. Oh, we're not going to take none of this clothes out. Oh, I'm sorry. We're just going to leave. I'm gonna leave the rest of the clothes here for now and not go through until we see how people like his current prices. That box is all Ralph Lauren. Even the white tees were Alex. It's a lot of stuff, huh? You don't, you don't, you're not want, you don't want to pay his price for all of it? It's pretty fair. I'm gonna leave this one in here for now because you already have the other ones out. Nah, all I have is what's there. Yeah. I don't think it is complete. It's just I'm, like 15 bucks for the two pieces. Actually, it's kind of like maybe keep the clothes back in here now for a little bit. That way it doesn't get all just rummaged real quick. Gives me anxiety. Uh, let me see. Three bucks. Uh, it's a whole bed for uh, 40. Hold on, man. I'm going to put this all over here. No. The man right here is the pricer for the clothes. Big guy in the blue shirt. Huh? Uh, it's four. It's more pieces. Boy, they want to see in there. Yeah, these are 50 for the set. The what? Oh, I know. It's all good. Uh, 40. These ones are beat, but they're still kind of nice old ones. Every one of these ever made. Oh, yeah. Every single one. Get the shoes, Mom, Mikey. Yeah. Same. This uh, is the this is the real deal. This is a nice one. How much are the towels you said? Uh, one dollar each on those ones. Made in USA. Yep. See, I think it's pretty pricey. Hey, hey, hey. What do you think that's worth? The dog's yeah, the dogs are always peeing on everybody's stuff. Two fifth, three hundred. 
get it dry clean, get that out. Buttons are intact, stitch, it's yeah, that's good. Tag is very beautiful. I love that tag. All the letters just flow, that's how you know. Yeah. If it's a fake jersey, these letters will be very like into each other, not very clear. This is Can you give me a hundred bucks for it? Put it over my pile so you can work some out in this box right here. Right. Was that one? Let me see. That one was open, right? Was that yeah. the one that wasn't open? Uh -huh, this one was open. All right, let's take a look in here. Got to go through it a little bit. See what we... Ooh. Almost something cool, right? What's that? A, a wannabe genie. We got an angel. I love angels. Well, what was this? Oh, yeah. Three bucks. All right. Are those hot right now on the streets? No, it's 200 for the set. All right, Texas. Let's see what's in here. Those might be good. Skull candy. That's kind of a cheaper brand, but a mouse. This unit had mice. Yeah, that one's good to go. Let me just lay that out there. Just go in rows. That's probably the glass for that table, Tony. Okay, guys, we're going to it. We're going to it. Uh, five bucks. This is another TV. It freaking is. What? Yep, yeah, it's a TV. Who's here in a 24 footer? I need to know. That's a product TV? Yeah. That one, uh, well, see, size doesn't matter. It's all about quality, I say. <laughs> well, I like to make other people feel better, you know? I've been called a lot of things, but small wasn't one. This looks like a $20 TV to me. Oh, it's what's his name, isn't it? TikToker? This is the feet for it. Yeah, this we we'll just set it like right here for now. That's all I do. These are nice. Like 80 bucks a piece, I'm thinking. Give me 200. Yeah, 200 bucks. Now give me 10. Give me 10. How much the bucks? Oh, uh, you have to ask the, the man in blue. Where do you get that? Ask the little guy. Hi, man. Uh, nope. Hi, man. Good. Pat, pay Alex. He's the boss. I don't know where to go with it. They did have a possibility of like Louie and stuff because I found boxes and things, but. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just so you guys know, 200 bucks right here for both of those chairs. Yeah, auctioneer hyped them as $800 a piece, but whatever. I knew they weren't going to be that anyway. All right, that one is dog gun. Hi, Ryan. That right there is uh, eight. A brand new pan by Dirt Samick. Hmm, it's a couple dollar box, but I wouldn't say that there is much in here. Just some kitchen stuff. Which one? This one here, 10. Where? The party don't start till I walk in. No, nothing. All right, we got. We do got a little bit of a, a tiny jackpot here. Jesus. We got six pieces of paparazzi jewelry, Alex. Where's the Monopoly guy? Monopoly. How much is it? Uh, three bucks. I spy and boggle. It boggles my mind. We haven't sold everything. Uh, two bucks each. To do what you do best. What you say? I need you to do what you do best. What? You heard that? Look at that, Alex. Isn't that curved? That is curved. Is it expensive? Yeah. What kind is it? What's the brand? I think it's Samsung. What's that worth? Like a thousand bucks? I've never found a curved TV. First time I've ever found one. Whoo! Can you look it up? You have to ask the guy in the blue. The, Cheap uh, shoes, because he's the guy who wanted uh, well, he knows three thousand for all our clothes this morning. He's the shoe guy. You gotta open these up. You, well, we can. Yeah, you feel free to come in front of the camera and do it. I got you. Yeah. They love their vape pens. That's for sure. Well, yeah, we let's pick a look. I like when you dig through the boxes, Tony. No one gets a chance to see you enough. <laughs> Uh, was it like Uncle Mike? Yep, yeah, there you go. Don't forget to show the tag. Look at that scarf. That is nice. That is real nice. No, not that nice. 
it's a, just probably all Ralph Lauren again. Nice jeans, Ralph Lauren. Look at you go, Tony. You're like a pro. Oh no, you keep doing what you're doing, but I'm just moving this one. Compensating your sales force. Look at those, they got a tag on them still. Our price, 49 bucks back in forever ago. There's some, some shorts, those definitely, ooh, look at these. Those are nice right there. Tell me those aren't nice. May, Bradbury Fit, made in Sri Lanka. That's nice right there, sailor shorts. Whew, look at that, we got the MK. Those are hot right there on the streets right now. Okay, we got some socks. Looks like more Ralph Lauren shirts. It's unbelievable. Everything's Ralph Lauren. Yeah, it's wild. This guy was cool. He was cool. Look at these. Those are styling. These look like these were more of his, probably some of his favorite pants right here. Yeah. See how they, a little bit wear there. That was like he wore those once a week. Bunk beds ready? Yeah. No. I sold the mattress. She didn't buy the bed frame. Pop those tops, Alex. Let's go. Get some videos rolling. Make some footage. Break your chest cam. Break your chest cam out. Stop being scared. Mm -hmm. okay. Be a content creator. You could do it. I, I believe in you. I believe I could try. Oh, oh. Christmassy. This is very Christmassy. Oh, I am dilapidating the heck out of it. I give up. I will destroy this before I ever get it out. This is a buck. This is a buck. Shoes, dirty shoes too. Uh, let me see, how many of y'all do not like going through a box like this and touching just shoes in general? This is from the one I kind of regret buying. I'm not sure though. Hard to say till we crack it open. What a waste of a box, huh? Imagine they get paid by a box and this is how they pack your stuff. Half a box. Well, yeah. Cherubs. It's up to you. Okay. I think this is a different person, but I don't know. Wow, look at that. That is going to be a hot item. That's actually money right there. See the vintage tag right there? Made in Guatemala. You're into vintage women I'm stuff? I am not. Well, you need to be. What kind of clothes guy doesn't do vintage? Vanity Fair, come on. Look at the way they pack, guys. This is horrible. I'm just like disgusted, actually, to be honest with you. It's like you buy these stuff, it's all sealed, but it's really empty. Someone sabotaged it. And... Okay. So you got a sweater. Microfiber town jacket. Look at that. You look spiffy in this, sir. Can you imagine that a little? It's your size. Yeah, going to coffee shop on a Wednesday. Coffee shop on a Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. Me a donut? I'm trying to not eat donuts because I'm watching my figure. Okay. Brazil. This looks kind of like a boring kitchen box. Cute little, cute little Coventry porcelain dish set. So that's got to be like ten bucks. I don't even think this has anything in it. Ribbit. Dan Lee collector's choice. Look at that beautiful monkey with the heart. Friendship is a gift from God. Here you guys, is it for you? Bullwinkle. Lionheart. Another frog. All right, that's got to be at least ten dollars with. The suitcase here you know what the little woman asked me for wrapping paper so boom I got you my love tell me I didn't make that happen um, maybe turkey yeah oh man oh you know what this is I bet you when you got a prayer like you got you know how people oh, have to face Mecca yes, every day or somewhere yeah. Medina I forget what it is but take that with you I could be wrong completely but you have to you have to uh, pray in a certain manner every day. I wish they were fancy and used the Louis Vuitton rug. 
True, or some polo one. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna step it up a little bit. We're gonna need some Louie here to make up for the lack of <laughs> quality here. Come on, please. Not even an earring back. No, that was the closest thing to jewelry I found in all this, though. <laughs> it's under here, huh? Is it, is it coming? It better be. Wow. Yeah, bring it all out. Doing great. How about yourself? This looks like personal here. Do it. I have the universe with my back, so it'll punish you later. I'm willing to accept that. Come on, buddy. All right, look. Oh. Come on. Oh, he's been taking two pays home left and right. Today he lost his he lost his mojo. All right. Take the TV with my dolly. All the silver what 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 caused that? Huh? What caused that? Uh, I think it was a coronavirus. But they they said because the, the baby was fine, and then she she started having pain. She went to the doctor, and then they they just gave her a bunch of uh, iron, a bunch of iron. You know what I mean? I'm gonna keep that. Like that. Huh? I'm gonna keep they, that. They sent her home, and then four days later. She, she went back to the hospital because she was in pain again, and then they had a emergency C section because uh, the baby's heart wasn't going. Oh man. Slow down. Oh, she was not born yet. No, she was seven and a half. Okay. Seven and a half months. But she, she was alive when they pulled her out. But they, they couldn't say where She's premature? Yeah. yeah, my daughter was born, Michaela, she was born like three months premature. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That's why you have to. Be very grateful for the life you have and just breathing. I say it all the time. I don't think people understand. Like when somebody asks me how I'm doing, I always say I'm breathing. And a lot of people take that very cynical. Like, like I'm either being rude or that I don't care. They don't understand the simplicity is that my pure gratitude lies in the fact that I'm breathing. But I'm very misunderstood in a lot of things I say because people, yeah. I'm very weird in how, how I describe it. I'm sure you know. Well, they just misinterpret it. Yeah. And now they are very uh, simple minded and can't really think. Out. Hetty Bauer? No? That's the fire, right? Alex, this is you, buddy. Yeah, he's the wolf. See? Don't underestimate the animal, sir. He wants to be a sheep, that's why. I get it. <laughs> if it was a sheep on it, he'd be like, I got it. No? He's a teddy bear. He wants this a teddy good. bear. Is this the chick off of the, the Bundys? No. He said it's a wrestler, Large Marge. It's from Pee Wee Herman. That's Large Marge. It's a lost wrestler. You guys remember Large Marge? No, no. Wasn't Large Marge a wrestler? Actually, now that I think about it, sorry. I feel like Large Marge was in the WWF. We run a very unorganized booth because our philosophy is turn and burn, you know? Those go right there. Yeah, this is very disorganized. But it's like, that's how we are. Like, it's hard to be completely organized with junk like this, you know? Like, we don't go through every piece, take it out, bring out only the bestest things, etc., etc. We take it all out, liquidate really fast. You sold it? Oh man, I was gonna keep it. How much did you get? How much you get? You're lying. How much did you get? Mente. That came out of a hundred dollar lot. I bought that cabinet. This right here and a bed. I think I ended up paying like 80 bucks for all that lot. I kind of overpaid. The guy got me, he opened up the drawer and he's like, there's a camera in here. I did get a camera, I figured it's at home. It's like a $50 camera. And then the bed, which I sold for 40 or 30, you know, that will make some profit. And again, what? And that profound quote. Profound quote? Yeah. What hear is the- Hear ye, hear ye, from the stalker files. <laughs> no, I was basically saying that, like kind people, they're always kind to everyone, but when you, happen to tick off that one kind person and they go off it's usually a sight to see well it, they don't go off often and when they do it's for a reason and they feel strongly yeah. about that because kind people usually just i feel bad when nice i go people. when i get mad at somebody because i try not to but it's like i like the lady earlier i asked her like 10 times at least like i won't want you in my box i'm trying to film i'm staying away why do you keep grabbing the box i've never been in I don't think a conversation's fun until you have somebody by the throat, but you know, it's all nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a time and place for everything, I guess. There's this, I've never gotten that way. I've never ever once chose violence. I swear on everything. I've been, I've been abused. I've been, in many ways, jumped, beat, bullied, kicked, hit. I've never once physically retaliated on somebody because it's not out of my fear. 
of that person. It's more out of my fear of what's going to happen if I ever lose control of my own emotions to that extent. This is how I look at it, and this is what I told my daughter. A lot of people, they teach women, if you're going to be sexually assaulted, if you wet yourself or go to the bathroom on yourself, the guy's not going to attack you. Well, if you pull a 9 millimeter out of your purse and put it up to his head and he pisses his own pants, he's not going to attack you. Yeah. I mean, I would not let somebody take my life. There's a, there's a fine line. I've never had somebody try to physically take my life. But to retaliate physical pain, I think, is more of an ego thing. It's more of a proof that you're better than that person or bigger. And there's always somebody bigger than you and better than you, period. I just don't like bullies. But you never know what's going to happen. I just don't like bullies. One thing I've always feared is my aggression. My, my when anger. When I was younger in elementary school, I hung out with the boys. I got I wasn't picked on. Thanks though. for picking on me. I wasn't one, though, because you know how I know I wasn't? It's because... Would go on like field trips, and I was the only kid out of all my friends that was able to go. That wow. was able to go? Yeah. Field trips were like the life for me. I was like, that was like the yeah, one like escape. The you know, like we're going like, somewhere. Like, I remember it. Like, they're uh, like, oh, we're going on a field trip. You can't go. You can't go. You go. And they're like, oh, you can go. I'm like, cool. It's just the people I hung out with. It doesn't mean you act like them. I hung out with nobody my whole childhood. Like I, like, I had a little bit of friends, but like, really, like, when it comes to school, I had no friends. I was like, high school. Every day I was in the library reading the sports page, looking at stock charts, weird stuff. Like I, I would watch fantasy baseball. I had no friend whatsoever. <laughs> Different interests. Every lunch in high school. Damn. Or I read a book or something. I had, same with reset, whatever it was, your 20 minute break and lunch. But I, I attribute that to my, one of the only reasons I stayed out of trouble. I didn't follow the path that everybody right. I knew would have. It's not Ralph Lauren. No, it's better. It's Tahoe Vintage. That is priceless. That is Two bucks. <laughs> Don't put your eye out. Watch out, man. Life's weird, though. A lot, a lot of, uh, you, I've watched a lot of people make all the wrong choices, and it's because the choice they made is as simple as like a choice, you know? Yeah, in front of you. And it's hard to grow up in this world. People don't get Like, a lot of people are like, oh, you don't know it's like a 1950. Like, we live in a different world where... It sucks. The, the, like, to be a kid in school... I thought it was bad in the 80s. I feel it's probably way much worse. Yes, literally. I always worry about all my kids going to school because I feel like if I went through what I went through... Now it's 10 times worse. Mm-hmm. Um... Seven bucks. Yeah, it's, it's weird. My kid, I know my, my kids never really discuss that. But, yeah. They don't ever talk like they've, they seem to be pretty different. They've had a little bit different than I have. No, I have no bags. They, they seem to be more like in the in crowd all the time or, you know, lots of friends or very neutral. Like I was like, I hated school. Like I was always that kid that everybody wanted to just mess with. I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. It's weird. Everybody was always like fancy. As I went to like, I wouldn't say I went to a fancy school, but for the way I lived. <laughs> Yeah, with not how everybody else had to. God, it's your crowd. I don't, I, mean, I don't think I had a chance at school. That's why I like to let, like, uh, like I, I don't mind my son sits and plays his games every night. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't get a chance to go to school. My most important thing is just focus on the school. At least get a degree in high school. It doesn't matter if you gra if you want to go to college. You can choose to do anything you want in life. You know what I mean? As long as it's not going to get you in jail or prison. Right. Or make somebody's heartbreak. You know what I mean? That's all I don't, I don't keep positive. But get a high school degree i got a ged which i'm not ashamed of but i didn't like it i went to what like four high schools in 10th grade i didn't even get a single credit wow. i was we were homeless like that whole year, like uh, two years of my schooling like through ninth yeah, grade and 10th grade life. oh yeah yeah it, it makes it easier when you're comfortable no it didn't yeah. Like by the time I got into senior year, they wanted me to go to like a uh, continuation school. Like we're all, uh, well, that was dangerous back in the 80s and or 90s. It was dangerous to go to continuation yeah, school. You didn't want to. No, hell no. I was like, I'm cool. I, I lived I that enough school. outside of school. Yeah. School was like my one escape. As I went to high school, I went my senior year as a student that had like no privileges. I just wanted to go and not go. So I knew I wasn't graduating. But I was out of But I got like a 3.6 GPA. I wanted to prove to myself like. I try. That year I got to live with my grandma. Like my parents decided to move away and I was like, I'm staying, I'm not going with you all this time. Every other time I always wanted to go with them and I kept repeating that same mistake. <laughs> William Wallace? <laughs> it's funny how life is. Uh, One dollar. Yeah, my parents were uh, very fun, very fun. But that was a wise decision because I'm glad I didn't move up north then. Oh, where? Okay. They bounced up to like Guerneville. When I was like 16, almost 17, I was like, no, I'm gonna stay with my grandma. <laughs> so I got like that was like my most sane year of my life hey, probably George. and I did it it's funny that but that's like the one year I did good in school then I then I finished my year and got a GD 
Boom, like a week after it was done, let me, let me be done with this. Some old moon crater. And you was- Yeah. I don't know if like extra better in schooling would have changed my life any though, you know? Yeah. What would I have done? Like I want to be an architect. How does that pay nowadays? Unless you're the architect, you know? Yeah, building everything. And I want to be a, I want to find dinosaurs and stuff. And I was like, this like job is the closest thing I think to being a true archaeologist because, yeah, exactly. Um, to me, if I can, I want to find one Picasso. You know, what I mean, one real like, what's this for? Yeah, imagine finding like one real Picasso. Yeah. I know a friend of mine, my my good buddy Matthew. His friends actually found a Triceratops uh, horn in um, New York once. Something like that, somewhere in New York, New Jersey. So like there, this is like really there's this job is like you're an archaeologist. I found some crazy stuff, some history. I found some things that I think were were pertinent to history, you know? Documents, like I had a document not too long ago, I just sold it for 1500 that was, um, had the governor of Rhode Island in 1776, right before they were even oh, in the United shit. States of America because they opted out of being in, in yeah, originally, original, yeah. yeah. And that was kind of crazy. I ended up selling for 1500 eventually after having it posted for a year. Uh, give me two bucks. But yeah. Well, you want to check out this box? Yeah, Alex, you want to check out his box? Couple of them. Hey. What is it? Let me see it. Turn around. Uh, give me four. No, it's cherubs, sir. Just the three? You didn't get the one the jersey either? That's the one that the lady was got mad at me when I told her uh, whatever for it. Mike, he's fair with you to tell me why. He said he's fair with you, so you don't want that? I'm really thinking about it. That's a fair price. I know, but it's... Oh, that's what you, that's your, that's what you do. I know, but... That's what you do. You should open this mirror up. Yeah, you should. Might have been 30, 40 bucks. I, I try to give it to the, the you know... The truth of the flea market is nothing really sells well. I don't care what market you're at. It might be better for, I know a lot of people feel like we sell cheap, but for our, what we've experienced in my 15 years, this is the worst it's ever been in selling stuff like you this regular I stuff. I mean, it really it ain't gonna make a difference though. Not How many people is it? Like, cause if some old guy wants to get this autograph and frame, that's, you know, if it was a little You can paint more, it, you know? very hard i don't i i think on the internet it's worth an easy two bills easily yeah you gotta clean it that's the thing though it's just... you don't think it would be two bills like it is Hell, hmm. look on it there's a couple of them up there right now all right i'll have to look it up but yeah else okay. nowhere else oh i can't sell that my bad no, oh. that's the white <laughs> you get now you're trying to give me a heart attack always missed the good stuff that was a great negotiation he offered us three i wanted three then he offered two because it was dirty i told him give me one Alex told me Merry Christmas, he can have it. You guys missed all that because I'm a horrible. What? I'm just saying how bad of a videographer I am. I missed all that. I'm not good at the content creation all the time because I, it's like, yeah, I'm trying to be a, a businessman. And as a businessman, it's hard to focus on being a content creator because then you're going to fail yeah. as a businessman. It's a fine line. It takes a lot of patience and stuff. Like you're, you're, oh, trying, to, you're trying to deal with the public who yeah. is not exactly the friendliest or most forthgiving. Right. And then oh, you're also trying to make this happy video. Yeah. Get that camera ready, Mike. Get that camera ready. Stuff, we need to have oh, some money. We got a plan here. Santa's out. Let's go. We got to sell the good stuff here. Should we put some away or what? That's or you, no, you, you can be calm. You can take your time and do it. Aren't you going to buy the rest of it? Man. That's a good deal for all these polo stuff here. The buckets are full of white tees that are polo. All the stuff up there that's polo. I think 200 is fair. I think if you made it 250, you could take Jersey. Oh, <laughs> he's adding bacon on the sandwich now. Yeah, we're gonna need a little mustard. A, a dollar for you and two dollars for you. Man, that's two bucks. My kids are in school. They are. They have finals for the next two days. Anaya and all of them. Michael tried the old. Michael tried the old man. Like oh, we're getting ready to go. We're about to get home. He's like, man, it's still gonna be boring going to school. We're just gonna sit in my class all day and and do nothing for two hours in my final before I come home. I'm like, yeah, sucks. Have a good day. Yeah. Have fun sitting down. Do the best nothing in the class. I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> you're good at doing nothing. This is perfect for you. You were built for this, son. Right. This is your time to shine. Yeah. You've been doing nothing all year. Man. <laughs> you ain't won that million a fortnight yet. Still waiting for my Lambo. 
That's Fortnite, bro. You got it. He don't play Fortnite no more. He's like on. It's like on his twelfth game. It's the same thing, just a different name and different, yeah. <laughs> adjustment in the color. And that's all it is. Uh, that's sure funny. Enough. I love giving my kids crap because somebody has to. It's the only way the kids stay on their toes. Like, yeah. I need to know they're gonna have my voice in the back of their head if I'm gone. Always. That's like the that's the that's the thing. It's the business. Oh man, that looks like is that a Packers? Yeah. Oh, it's A's. It's a dollar. If it was Packers, I was gonna give it to you because it would have been garbage. But it's A's, so I have to charge a dollar. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna be rained out till next week. Shout out to Comprando Depositos of Mononados. Has his favorite team. I hope you watch this, Manny. If you do, comment below how good the Packers are. I love you. Find out if Manny watches my videos, won't we? Climb out on the ladder. Tony, sell that couch. Look at it. That's a single bed. I have many times in my life I wish I had a bed like that. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Yep, yeah, ten bucks. It's a single bed right there. I lived in a van once for eight months. <laughs> Broke down in somebody's front yard. I would love to have a couch like that one time. The tenth grade, no. Yeah, tenth grade. End of ninth, beginning of tenth. No. It was the seventh grade. I have to remember how many times we moved to Humboldt. Uh, it was like, like three different times in my life they tried that. Seventh grade, I was going to continuation school. Give or take. I mean, there's the pr there ain't nobody perfect. There are some people, they might think that they've never, you know, they went to church and they donated some money and they're just like, all sins are forgiven. But there's a, no one's perfect. That's what bugs me about this world, a lot of judgment. You don't, walk, you don't judge a man no. unless you walked a mile in his shoes. And a lot of people, and we've all made mistakes. Trust and believe that. Still making them. Oh yeah. Still making them. This is crazy. Made a mistake right. buying these pallets. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you know, like. Nah. <laughs> they made the mistake buying the pallets. This this venture on social media has taught me this uh, the judgment thing. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many people that just like. There's more than one way to skin a cat. And everything. There's more than one way to sell that picture frame. There's more than one way to open a box. There's more than one. If we all did it the same, nothing would work. That if everything was exactly the same, you need that diversity to exist. You need problems to have success. You need failure yeah, to create look success. At those. You know? Boy, they comfy. You can't have law and order without organized crime. It's one of my favorite quotes by uh, Don Falcone and Gotham. It always made me think about life. Like that is nuts. You cannot have law, organized crime without law and order. You buy a mirror. It's a big mirror right there. But those failures we have don't define us. It's how you make those mistakes and what you do next. We didn't pull it out. I should have pulled it out. We didn't pull it out. We waited too long. Do you learn from them? Or you continue to make them? Yeah. You learn, it's like it, business is the same as life. You buy a certain type of storage unit and it's like you don't buy that one next time, you know? Like I try to stay away from units with too many speakers. I just don't like too many speakers. If that's the, like, the speaker, a speaker tweaker, I try to stay away yeah. from, you know? Right. I'm not very fond of milk crates, but there are the rare occasion that a milk crate unit attracts my attention. But for the most part, I don't like milk crate units. Uh, you don't have no ones? I might have a one. Uh, Give me 30. Here you go, Tony. Yeah, it's a weird. My God, you touch the stove once and you burn yourself. You tend to not do it twice. Right. That's the weird thing, though, is how many people don't see that in their, in their flaws. I know a lot of people, I'm like, why don't you just get it yet? That's why I become so solitude. Like I don't really have much. I close myself off more and more. I feel like the more you let people in, if they're not either pure in their uh, way, I guess you'll call it, and or they're not doing some positive, it, it, it like seeps into your yeah. soul. It really does. Or, or around them. Uh, well, two dollars. You they say you only be as successful as the five closest people to you. Right now, the five closest people to me are my four kids and Jess, basically. And then outside of that, it stems a few handful of people. Mm -hmm. Not that I don't like have friends and family and all that, but it's like there's like different levels of friends and yeah. uh, one dollar. Yeah, yep. family is the hardest because your your heart comes into play, and that's a that's hard thing I mean. when that's your heart and brain. Ugh. I've helped a lot of family that have just done, like, literally not paid me. I've done some things, you know, like, Same. you just lose. Yeah. 
friends. Yes, definitely. I've extended my neck to do things for people that would cost me my potential success in many avenues. I remember when I applied for television, my buddy, uh, if he ever watches, I'm sorry, but I gotta talk about this story. Uh -huh. uh, I was going to try out for storage hunters and when I got the address, I gave it to him to also go because he was trying to apply. He showed up at the place for an interview and they got mad at me. Um, two bucks. They called me and they're like, would you give somebody our address? I was like, I just thought that you, it was a casting call or something so he can go too or whatever. Right. You know, at the time I was young. I was like freaking... Your heart. Yeah. And then he showed up and they yelled at him and he's like, I don't know, I think he said something that caught their attention. He said something like, they're like, why are you here? He said, so he, he told them, well, it doesn't matter to me. I live by the three who's, who what, who will, who won't, and who gives a f or something like that. And they liked him. They put him on the show. I got on the show too. That man ended up going on to movies. He's been doing tons of movies, tons of things, right? Uh, Tuba. I don't know. These are cool. How much are these? Five bucks. D do you think that that has ever been reciprocated on any level? Never. Not once. I've been, trust me. Every time he sees me at the flea market, he wants to tell me, like, yeah, I'm going to get on this thing. I'm going to give him your number. Like, I don't even ask, nor do I care. But it's, I, he, I know he's not. I just, it's, yeah. this is the way life works. Uh, people people want back. their success m so much more than your own that they don't understand you could both be successful. Yes, there's plenty of it out there for everybody. They're worried of losing what they've built by you coming yeah. further along. And so life is scared, scared of other people's potential. It's all different mm -hmm. prices. Some cheap, some expensive. But I also like it because at the same time, I've helped create something. Oh yeah, you yeah. know it. They know it. The Christmas tree hunt. Huh? Yeah. How much is it again? Five for both. They're nice, they're crystal. I think they're pricey ones. About, uh, like, we need all the sales we can get today. Oh yeah? Yeah. Real quick, look at that. And the bill? I can't believe you're not trying to jump on making a deal and all that stuff, you know? That's... I'm going to. I you're just letting... Buddy was on his way. I was gonna... Alex, I need some change. Yeah, to... Never mind. Now I'm just officially out of change and I don't have to give any more. That worked out well. Who's? I didn't. You got a pirate scarf on? It's nice. It's tight. Some, some people call me pirate. Like this guy, he calls me pirate. Oh, I think I preferred when you yeah, called me Mike Christmas. though. Hey, you as well. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Come back at the end here, we'll have a sale soon. Okay, cool, thank you. Well, I, bad news, I have to go to the dentist to Oh, all right. It's good right. news. You get... I was worried he had a pirate scarf on, I didn't even notice him. I'm a horrible pirate. Uh, people kind of bug me, like the one guy today was kind of like, he made that comment about how like, uh, oh, white people always get like bonuses. At the first off, what does that A have to do anything? Because I've been, I've been white my whole life and I never got a bonus from anybody. Right. And two, like, like literally I pay these people like, they might physically put in one to two hours a day helping us. It's just unload and load. And I usually give that person like 40, 45 bucks for that. Like, I don't need that. I'm, that's what's crazy. Like, I don't, I don't need the help. I'm do, I do it to, to pee, help people make money. Then you go, they go on and help like three other people. I know they don't pay them as much as I'm giving them. No, hell no. You know what I mean? Like, it's weird. And then yeah. to complain about that, like you think I'm rich. I, I am not as rich as, I'm not rich at all. I'm not rich. You say, yeah, I mean, you know, but it's not even that though. It, it takes a lot of work to keep this machine running. Right. Give me, give me, give me two dollars. Like we're struggling to make every freaking sale here. It's weird. It's but there's the gratitude doesn't exist. And that's a very important key. Yeah, that, that's the plague of the city. Let me say that now. I swear, literally, most flea market days that I come here, I literally am doing most of it just so people can work. You know, I've come to the conclusion I'm almost better off either donating or throwing away most of the stuff and just putting the stuff on the internet for the time and energy it takes me to take that out here, hold my truck up, miss a day of auctions, sell it, take it to the dumps just to pay, you know? Like that's the, really the way it works. I can almost do better just letting it go and getting to the next one for that 5%. It's weird. But I feel bad if I did that because then everybody's they're not making their money and lose, lose, you know? Weird system. Especially right now. Six, eight years ago, that wasn't, it's not, wasn't a thing. Like you go out and you could sell two grand every day. I right, conquered on a Sunday. Most of the, the buyers are now resellers now. But they're not, even the resellers, they don't want much either. It's weird. 
When I started, Scott and I would go out every Sunday to conquer, and we never made less than two grand. Like almost never. We always brought like two huge trailers, and, and it was like crazy. And now Concord, I, I'd be lucky if I make 200 bucks in sales at that market. It's weird. I see other people do pretty good. For people to donate to people like that, but it shouldn't be hard for anyone to donate to someone like that because you know where your heart's at. You know how pure your heart is. That's the so weirdest discussion, purity. Yeah, whatever you're doing with it, whatever. I know what I did. Because I don't like to judge. That is a thought. We all have that thought, though. Because the, the world we live in is there's so many people that are like scamming. When we got up the freeway, and the guy had a sign out there asking for money, but he was cleaner than the both of us with his Nikes. And, oh, that guy? And his Adidas outfit, clean now. Oh, no, that man, that man. Uh, five bucks. That man had a desk job at a law firm or something. Okay, and he's just. The other hard part is you can't just give to everybody. Like, it, that's. If you gave to everybody, you would be broke. I was looking for a safe book in there too. No. Oh, wait a minute. Mmm, maybe. Maybe you got your receipts for something that you got here. Mmm, what I'm hoping, Bitcoin, like he said. It's weird because I looked through these books thinking there was one in there. About this. First thing I did when I lost my home was A, I was getting evicted. B, I'm giving up my credit. Got to go to a hotel. What, what am I going to do? I have $3 to mine. What's the first thing I did? I sold my stuff. Like, I sold all my stuff. I kept what my kids like for themselves. I sold everything I had, and I applied everything to storages. I was buying a $100 locker. If I had $500, I could buy a $500 locker. I kept doing that till I worked up to the day I got the $7,000 locker. It was like a like five months of just mm, every time might have been a few setbacks but i kept flipping it over i bought one for a thousand because i am handed just to have enough to pay for this unit bought it seven thousand in gold and silver and boom went to the scrap yard literally the next freaking day the seven thousand dollar unit came the universe brought me that freaking unit that's why i'm trying to teach the same thing that's what we do here so we were just discussing him a minute ago how it's like fearful because some lady walked up here and wanted five bucks because her brother died she had a box and people do that often you know right especially around this time she didn't have, alex didn't like she had a picture of her brother there and it's hard to presume what her meaning is true mm -hmm. but you have to give that pure intent because if you presume negative you're only believing that's what the person's gonna do you're actually manifesting that they're going to do evil negative. it's so it crazy is. man we have touched on some subjects today Believe it or not, I work hard for my money. I'm not rich like a lot of people think, so it's hard to me to. I don't like to throw around my money every day, but I wanted to get these for the girls. So I was thinking about it because I didn't even know the price. They were 15 each, but that uh, amazing uh, family that we met recently, they just brought these to me and gave these to me for Christmas. That had changed my battery. I'm excited about that. I get to give those to the girls now. And now I'm having them go. The guy is going through trying to get everything that they want before we give this stuff away. So I want to make sure that this stuff also goes and furthers more money. So we're about to do a, a big free thing. Take 15. 15 for what? A TV? Oh my gosh. All right. How about 14? How about 14? Have a big one. Don't you people go lower than a dollar? 50 cents? Oh, all the time. Huh? No, dude, yeah, all the time. Like, I hate when they. Yeah, I know. Like, it's like, come on, give me a dollar. You cannot go cheaper than 50 cents. Come yeah. on, man. It's, it's hard. To, it's hard to be on both sides because you at one point you also you're the one wanting the dollar, but then you have to understand how hard it is for somebody to spend a dollar. There's like two sides. I'd rather to it, give so. it away than yeah. Cents. It's a double-edged sword for us, you know. Yeah. Doesn't even feel good. I like it. No, it fits perfect, man. <laughs> That's what's up. Look at this guy. Looks like Razor Ramon now. Hey, yo. Fill up a box, carry it away. Don't make a mess. Gratis. Free, free, free. Please take it all. Take as much as you can carry. Help us out. Gratis, gratis. Everything is free. Free, free, free. Free, gratis. Please don't make a mess. Gratis, if you pick it up, put it in a box. Help us out. Genghis Khan, that's a good book. I expect to hear a full review by next week. I don't watch a lot of TV no more. I think the only thing I've been watching lately, just watch is freaking uh, 90 Day Fiance. We watch a whole bunch of that. But I don't watch TV much. You pick it up, put it in a box, please. Pick it up, put it in a box, dude. That's like old, 
It's free. I think my friend, uh, Rico. Rico, did you take the desk? Yeah, he got the desk already. I have to, I have to save it for him. Everything is free. Please don't make a mess. You can fill up a whole big box even. You don't even got to stress over how much to carry. Good stuff here. Don't let it go to waste. It's going to the dumps. Yeah, he found it. He put a plant together. Nice. Yeah. I like it. Christmas decoration. We're spreading holiday cheer. Nice of you to pass it on to him. How much you sell it for? Oh. Gratis. Yeah. Those fit you too. I can see you wearing those. Yeah. Another hat, though. Cool. This one? I got it at Walmart. Oh, okay. Five bucks or something cheap, ridiculous. You guys spread a little Christmas cheer, you know? I like my shirt too, see? Don't stop believing, I got that at Walmart for five bucks. <laughs> gratis, gratis, please don't make a mess. The Christmas spirit is caring, care enough to put in the box for us. Please, don't make a mess. If we all work together, this is a simple process. It's gone, I think I sold it. Yeah. There you go, sir, enjoy. Have fun doing your homework. Yeah, I, it was right here. I think I sold it for two bucks okay, damn, before okay. my, my free sale. It's a, a dinosaur. See that? What do you got to say for yourself? That today is the day where the day is the day. At this point in the day, I have no idea, oh, this video, where we're at, how much has been left in, but I know we have covered a lot of bases and that's how it happens. You come to the flea market and you always end up in conversations and chit chat, discussing life. Got to think, a lot of your, when you take yourself out of yourself and look at everything from a whole people around you everybody's got tough times struggles my buddy was just here found out that his mom who had a heart attack last week is um yeah it's it's wild the things that happen and my other friend walks up and he's talking about how his 13th child he's had just died like a month ago you know and then i just left visiting my dad who's really almost have his days are numbered with the amount of ailments and things i just don't want to discuss it, it's crazy a lot of people are going through tough times life could be crazy right i, I don't like to discuss that but you got to be there for each other right you got to you got to be a listening ear and as also maybe have some words to console or help somebody through those tough times that's a very important aspect of life that's what happens here that's the whole moral of what i was trying to say alice is back here like this he said no mike i said whoa mike well Life is not always perfect. Never and so I like to let people know they're not alone. And we're here, think about how many of our friends have stopped by and they needed that conversation today. There it goes, there it goes, Tony. Here Just for the record, I never stole Tony from you. You stole Tony from me and I took him back. You know how I took him back? I came to work. Remember that, Tony? Who didn't come to work? Yeah. He was on vacation. He's on one of them staycations, guys. I came to work. Tony's like, Mike, I like your consistency. Ah, oh, he's telling on you now, Tony. Yeah. I'm making that up. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got? Let's see. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That's fucked up. Yeah, there. Oh, well. Uh... <laughs> that, should, that should be good for what we did not do today. Yeah, you know what I made today? Nothing. When you when you bring a trailer to the dumps, they weigh you? Yeah. Okay. So the only way. No, me. Get it, no pun intended. What's yours, 40 bucks? Mine is a, it's a minimum 33 period, or 35, but they try to, I always weigh, because like, I went the other day, they wanted to charge me 200, and after I weighed, it was like 110. Oh, okay. So. We have, uh, we're about to do something in our eyes is the best. We try to help people, right? We didn't, we failed in one aspect, but we didn't make money. Our goal was to make money and show them how we do it, then the turn and burn process. Sometimes you don't score. Maybe we should have chose a wiser facility, but that's me. But we still have a process here. And what we're gonna do is we're counting what we got here. We're about to go um, make a surprise. And hopefully, you just have to watch. you see what happens next. So first off and foremost, I wanna say shout out to Joseph Raymond, a good, friend of mine and a subscriber he recently sent me money a while back i bought a unit in his dedication it was like a pay forward situation and it inspired me and alex as part of what we're about to do here where our goal was to make a little bit of profit to donate to this family to help get them on their feet hopefully by a storage and that's what i'm hope is going to happen is we're going to help them make a jump towards a successful business we're about to go talk to them and we are going to see 
No. We're handing them the money we made. We're going to pay for it. We're going to pay it forward. We didn't make our goal of making profit. We still have a task to complete. So, how was your guys' day? Uh, $32. $32? Awesome. But That's about as good as us. It puts gas in the car. And it keep it, it, and keep it going. We just got the news. Mike's coming home today. Mike's so coming home? They're uh, releasing today at 5 o'clock. Nice. They're just waiting on his handful of medication. You guys didn't know. A couple videos uh, back in Mike's video, the story was she came, moved out here, and started working because she's seen success in this guy right here. She's seen that it could be successful out here, so she came out here to try to make some money, guys. And the reason why I didn't know who you was, because I've always re heard him refer to you to Alex. Yeah. I, see, I thought he calls me Pyro, but I still call him because I, I don't, I can't call him Stalker. I don't. <laughs> he's Alex. He's my friend. You know. Yeah. He calls me Pyro, which is fine. It is what it is. But um, yeah, well, you guys, uh, we felt, I don't know how to explain it, but like, I like what, what reason why we want you guys to work today is we went and bought a storage and we was hoping that you guys would be able to come help us and we wanted to show you how we do it, right? Like oh, what okay. our process was. And then his, his answer to coming and help us was for sure pulled up, ready and started working. That's like, yeah, yeah we, it's cool. better to get a hands on experience. So we want to see you guys. Uh, be successful and it's because it, we feel that you inspired us so, like we don't get it's not like we're like really successful like a lot of people think we're just rich like we get this perception like we've made a million dollars and we don't have to work i really have not made money in the market doing this. yeah i haven't really made money in this market really in a couple of months myself it's a it's a struggle but it's also what you buy right you have to buy certain units you have to get lucky and That's we want to get the games and they said they bombed today well we wanted <laughs> to see you guys buy like a good unit so i wanted to like well, our goal was to buy a storage unit and make some money and give it to you guys it didn't work out as well as we were hoping but we still oh. want to do that so what i'm hoping is you will take this money and maybe buy a, a storage unit that you would not normally buy like we can't do no you I, i'm hoping you will well, i only ask one thing is if you do buy a storage unit actually with it invite us to come film it and go through it with you and see what you found and you so got far. it man that would be you got something it. that i would oh appreciate seeing you guys do oh something. mike is gonna be so happy how much you give her mike um 300. 300. wow yeah. yeah you know i'm gonna match it are you serious yeah Seriously. you guys are amazing Thank you so much. And hopefully, I got, like I said, Merry uh, Christmas it's your choice to, you to do with family. what you want, but I'm hoping you buy something oh, kind of cool. Yeah. And well, just call us and we'll come out and yeah. film, do an unboxing we, with you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just, just uh, pay we, for it. That's we've been we looking for him and looking for him, and he gets some money in next week. We just auctioned some stuff off, but it didn't go as well as we planned. We only made 70 bucks the whole entire day. Yeah. So, and then Mike's it's, got his check on the first of the month. So we're just like, it's, hey. it's tough. We spent 1200 on these pallets and we literally lost about 200 bucks. Oh, wow. But it's the nature of the beast. It's, it's you have to just take the losses and move forward, One you know? What you need to do is, is when, you, when you buy online, right? Is if you looked at it once already and you're ready to bid, slow down, look again. Slow yeah. down, look again. The bidding don't start literally to the last yeah. hour. And literally the last and hour. I've Unshirt, noticed that. Look again. Just don't go in there. Just bid. Just wait, 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 wait. And um, it's crazy, but every time you're going to see something different. You're going to see a little bit more value or a little less value in that unit. Yeah. But look at it. And but be patient there, there's like thousands like you like you, you you fomo fear missing out so we go for that one but I, be patient like i said try to find something big and full right like something with lots of boxes and it's it's overlooked because there might have been some furniture somebody didn't want to move or something but try to find yeah. like something with lots of stuff maybe just rent it for a month even so you have time you don't have to feel pressured to get it all out but i think more money's made in bigger ones more often because people don't want to do the work right would you say that I think that I know what a lot of the bigger ones lately. Like I wanted that one with the toolbox, and it's like I told Michael. I said, Michael, that's a Harley Davidson toolbox. That thing's gotta go for about two grand. Is that the one? Is that the one he got? I don't. The big silver toolbox. Is it's it? a Harley Davidson toolbox. You, he's been Ooh. releasing his videos on that. <laughs> He made I a lot of. I haven't caught the videos yet. He has a big toolbox of yellow and black toes. Yeah. He found a lot of coins, and I, I actually own that toolbox. I bought it off him for three hundred bucks. Oh, cool. I ended up paying like twenty five hundred, almost almost three grand after taxes. He found gold coins wow. in that toolbox. He found, but see, that's why we was hoping to make it 
we wanted to yeah. help you all out so that you could maybe try to buy something you would buy if, if you couldn't, you know? Yeah. So that well, was Well, that's the whole our thing. thing. Just with all three of us working together and all three of us being disabled. And now Mike's down for 30 days again. His lung capacity is just going downhill. Well, you can, it, I can and tell you, like, the doctor, this man watched me, so he knows I'm not lying. Like, I got evicted, and I had $3 to my name. And you could literally buy units in a sequence and turn the money fast enough to change things. I got lucky a few yeah. times. I lost a few times, but one unit hit That's for, like, a bunch of gold. When you guys gave me all that advice, we made uh, 1250 bucks, And I told Mike, we've got to get up on Facebook and eBay and Macari and... So we went and got us new phones for Christmas. And every time I get up on Facebook, it gets us out saying we're not real people. And I'm going, okay, now what do we do? So, you gotta just probably check your identity, like confirm your identity to sell a marketplace. I don't know. Yeah, well, I've got to- But I really would push eBay more. And this, this is the most- eBay, yeah. I'm about to go upgrade mine pretty soon, probably today. <laughs> we went to uh, Metro and got these. 245 bucks, we got two phones and a tablet. Yeah. Now, a tablet sucks. It doesn't want to turn on and off. And when you're typing on it, it doesn't always want to hit the key you're hitting. And at that point, we didn't even know where you guys have you were. a great Christmas. Thank you. Have so a great much. Christmas. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. And Merry Christmas. I watched your video the other day with the girls decorating the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Man, that tree is killer. That's, you got a gorgeous hole. That, like I said, like that was literally, it's not even been two years. I was in a car with my children. Yeah. Like I'm not, I was in the middle of a custody battle for court because their mom's addicted to the fentanyl. Oh, I had wow. to get them in a safe environment. I lost my home. I lost my credit. I had three dollars in my name. All I did was sell my stuff and start buying storage units. Well, what y'all didn't know was the day you helped us out, we were down to our last nine bucks because we won. And after we got $109 work on the, um, we had to put new fuses in. And the fuses, and then turned around, we put a battery in it. They didn't charge us anything for the battery. I thought they charged the credit card, but when I looked at the statement this morning, yeah. they just exchanged the battery out. We had nine bucks to our name that day that you guys helped us out. And it was just, it was amazing. And I told my husband that night when I got back to our truck, I showed him the money. It was like, you're lying. I was like, get out of the truck and come meet you. Son. You got to roll with the momentum. Roll with the momentum and that's what like I said like I, I had bad units like I was out there for me It was hard like can you I didn't want I don't like being the guy not buying the units I want so I'm out here buying like ten dollar units. I started cleaning our houses. My buddy yeah. would pay me 200 bucks I clean hey, his garbage out in the cellar <laughs> Hey, how you doing? I hope you're doing all right and getting better. He's getting out today at five o'clock. <laughs> that's good Rest and get better You've got a sh shot coming when I see you today. Mike and Alex came by and gave us some money to buy a unit. We want, they were wanting us to buy a unit and they're gonna come film it. Is that FaceTime? Yeah. yeah. You there? Yeah, I'm here. See? Rest up, bro, get your rest. <laughs> He's looking a lot better. So. The doctor said you can get out, right? All right, we gotta get, we gotta go. Right. Please Thank call you. when you buy some. Oh, well. Let us know. All right, bye. Good luck, remember. All right, well, once again, I just want to say, like I said, shout out to Joseph Raymond because he did something very similar and sent me money and asked me to dedicate a unit to him several months ago, which I did if you guys missed it, the $420 container. But pay it forward, right? We just put that money back out into the... the um, back into the universe, baby. I want to say a high five to that, Alex. That's a fist bump. That's what's up, huh? That's a fist bump. That's a high, high fist bump. High fist bump. High fist bump. Anyway, Merry Holidays. Merry Holidays, Merry Christmas and all that good stuff. Yeah. Any last words? Spread the love, baby. Spread the love. I want you guys to see what I come home to every day. This dog loves to be. Look, every time I come home, she just wants to see me. Come on. Come on. Come on, Kobe. What? You little, my little devil dog. What? 
she what? seems so nice and innocent, huh? Why are you crying? Why? What? What's wrong? Let me see it. Let me see it. What? What? You better now? You better now? You better now?